Today we'll recap a 2022 horror film named The Jack in the Box Awakening, directed by Lawrence Fowler. When a vintage Jack in the Box is opened by a dying woman, she enters into a deal with the demon that would see her illness cured in return for helping it claim six innocent victims. Kindly remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. At the beginning of the movie, we see a man named Isaac Huxley, who comes to an old lady named Olga with a box with Jack written on it. She has bone cancer and now has only one month left. Then her son Edgar gives Isaac some money for this work. Isaac tells them that many people wanted to take this box but they have given him the highest price. After which Huxley leaves with the money. Then Olga tells Edgar to leave the box there. Now after Edgar left, she rotates the words written on the box to make it a life word. At the same time, Isaac remembers that he has forgotten the keys to his car in Olga's room itself. So he starts going back to her room. Meanwhile, Olga is rotating the handle of that box in her room. After which a clown comes out of it, which makes her happy to see it. Here Isaac notices someone's movement behind him, and when he goes to that side, suddenly Jack comes there and kills him. After killing him, Jack takes him inside the box with him, after which the dialer of the box moves to one. The next day a girl named Amy comes there, who has come here for the housekeeping job. Now Amy is surprised to see such a big house where Edgar tells her that they have been living here for almost 20 years. Then on going inside the house, Edgar explains Amy her work and also tells her some rules of the house. Now because Amy was getting good money for this work, so she accepts all the rules and signs on the documents. Edgar then takes Olga's breakfast and goes to her room, where he sees blood splattered on the floor, which frightens him. Now here she tells him that Isaac is dead and she has opened this box and released the demon inside it. It will now take six sacrifices and then she will be completely fine. Edgar does not believe her words, but on Olga's persuasion, he accepts her words for the sake of her life. Amy on the other hand is setting things up in her room when she sees her boyfriend's text on her phone. She tries to call him but there is no signal on her cell. Now while searching for the signal, she meets two other servants working there, whose names are Frank and Janet. They both like each other and Frank works here as a chef. Here Janet tells her that there is no signal or internet in the house. Then Amy starts playing chess with them and on the other hand, Edgar keeps the box in a cottage. Now at night, we see Frank and Janet together, who move to the same cottage where Edgar kept the box. They start getting intimate there when they hear some sound, but they ignore it. But Janet's attention is going towards that sound again and again, so she leaves from there. Frank gets a little frustrated by this, but then he hears the same sound again. When he goes inside, he sees that the same box is kept there, and only then does Edgar close the door of the cottage from outside, so that Frank cannot come out. Frank thought that maybe Janet is joking with him, so he asks her to open the door. But we see that the box has opened and then the lights of the cottage also start flickering. Now before Frank could understand anything, Jack comes from behind him, kills him, and takes him inside the box. And with this, the dialer of the box moves to number two. Then we see Edgar who was deeply saddened by Frank's death. So he goes to Olga to tell her that he will not be able to do this anymore. But upon reaching there he sees that his mother can stand on her feet, which had not happened in the last several months. Now he is very surprised to see this and here Olga tells him that every life the demon takes increases its strength and she will get stronger with it. Now seeing his mother recovering, Edgar agrees to support her again and he promises her that he will do anything to keep her alive. Edgar then goes to his girlfriend Stacy's house and tells her that he needs to talk to her about something very important. During the conversation, Stacy tells him that he is changing because of his mother and that he should take some professional help, hearing that he gets angry. Then Stacy goes to make tea and during this Edgar sees Stacy's phone on the table, in which there are some deleted messages in the name of work, and when Edgar calls that number, he realizes that she has been cheating on him. After this Edgar comes home and we see that he is writing a letter to Janet in the name of Frank, and then he falls asleep on the chair. Then after some time, we see that Jack is moving toward him and it was about to attack him. But Edgar picks up a knife and attacks it. But there is no one there. Now the next morning Amy is looking for Frank because Olga's breakfast was not ready, and Frank used to cook for everyone. Just then, Edgar comes to her and tells her that Frank left the job last night. 
so he will prepare breakfast for Olga now. After this Amy starts cleaning when she sees the Joker out of that box. But she starts working by ignoring it. Then after some time, she hears some sounds and notices that now the Joker is looking at her. Now she is a little surprised to see this and starts moving towards it to see it carefully. Then the Joker's neck moves again, which friends her. But it was Janet joking to scare her. Now here Amy asks Janet about Frank, to which she says that when she got up, she found a note on the door saying that he was missing her home. Both of them wanted to leave their jobs and start a business and their own family. But she could not understand it because Frank hated his home, and she was very sad due to his sudden departure. On the other hand, Beggar gives breakfast to Olga where he seemed a bit sad. But she explains to him that he is not doing anything wrong, as he is doing all this for his mother. Here Edgar asks her how did she find out about the box, to which she tells that many years ago she discovered the diary of the box's creator. He dedicated his life to the study of demons. The box was created to contain the most powerful demon he ever encountered, the Jayam Gustamara, the demon of torment. She tells him that on unleashing the demon, he fulfills a wish in the form of a reward, and she has asked for life in the wish. She then tells him about Dubois, a clown in the Victoria era who had been possessed by the demon, and asked him to kill his family. He also went to a demonologist for exorcism but it was too late, and the demon had completely controlled him. Now to save the lives of his own family and others, he demanded he be cast into the box forever. But later the demonologist dealt with the demon in the desire of a child and unleashed it, after which he killed six people and fulfilled the wish of the demonologist, and he got a son in reward. Then we see that Stacy comes to meet Edgar at his house, seeing that he decides that he will use her as a sacrifice. Now Stacy is looking for Edgar when suddenly Edgar grabs her face and takes her to the same cottage, and ties her on a chair. After a while, when Stacy regains consciousness, she sees Edgar placing a box in front of her, after which he leaves and closes the door. Then the handle of that box starts rotating and the Joker comes out from it, whose eyes go back and blood starts coming out of it after which that Joker goes inside. Now Jack starts coming out of the box, seeing which Stacy gets very scared. Then he slowly starts moving towards her and she starts screaming for help, after which Jack comes to her and attacks her. On the other hand, Janet and Amy are talking, where Janet tells her that Edgar has been strange from the beginning, and during this time Edgar is listening to them from outside. Then she tells that when Edgar lived in America with his parents, his father used to drink heavily and often beat Olga due to which Edgar killed his father one day. Edgar was 12 years old at that time, but Olga framed his uncle for her husband's death, and then both of them came to live here. Olga never lets him forget what she did for him. Then she starts making fun of him, and we see that Edgar was getting very angry after hearing all this. Edgar then goes back to the cottage, where he finds that Jack has taken out both of Stacy's eyes. Now he was looking at her when he accidentally puts her foot on the eye lying down which causes her to scream which scares Edgar away and we see Jack take Stacy inside the box too. And the dialer rotates to number three. Now on the night when Amy is going towards her room after finishing her work, she texts her boyfriend but her message is not delivered. Then she hears some sound from behind. And when she looks back, Jack is standing there, seeing which she gets scared and starts running from there. Hearing her scream, Janet comes to her and tries to calm her down. Now the next morning when Amy is in her room, Edgar brings her breakfast where she tells him about last night. She says that she saw a creature in the house and it was not a human. Edgar explains to her that she must be hallucinating, and in some time Dr. Clark will come and she will be alright. Then after some time Clark comes there and starts checking up on Amy. During this, Edgar is standing outside listening to everything. Here Clark opens his suitcase and is about to give medicine to her, but he stops and suggests she do a lot of rest. Then he gives her his card and leaves from there. Now outside Edgar asks Clark why didn't he give Amy some sleeping pills, to which Clark says that he should not do this. He says that he will tell her all the truth, but Edgar stops him and tells him to be afraid of something that he has no idea about. Now as Clark is leaving from there, he sees that the main gate is closed. He asks Edgar to open the gate, and during this time his eyes fall on the box whose handle is rotating. Now before he could understand anything, Edgar pushes him inside and closes the door from outside. Then he sees that Jack had come out of the box, seeing that he gets very scared and then Jack kills him and takes him inside the box. And with this, Daler shifts to number 4. Edgar then tells Olga about this, to which she says that it did not go well, 
because someone would know he was here and they need to finish this and get away quickly. To which Edgar says that he has locked the manor and it will all end tonight. Now at night, Janet comes to Amy's room and asks her if the doctor has given her any medicine. On which she says that he was about to give but then he changed his mind. Then she tells her that she saw Edgar giving a lot of money to the doctor, and he was asking him to give her some pills. Now both of them start thinking why is he doing this and something strange is happening here. Amy tells her that the main gate key is missing from her keys and Edgar has taken it, and he has locked the main gate so that they cannot get out. Then they decide that they will find the key to the main gate and flee from there. Now Janet is looking for the key in Edgar's room when she hears someone coming. So she hides there. She sees that Edgar comes there and after standing for some time leaves from there. Then after he leaves, Janet comes to the cottage where she last came with Frank. Now here she hears some sound and goes inside to check, where she sees Jack who attacks her. Amy, on the other hand, is packing her bags to run away from home. When she glances at the card in front of the table that Clark gave her, Amy notices a note on the back that read, don't trust him, get out. On the other side of the card, she gets to know his real name and that he was an actor. Here Janet is trying to escape by crawling when Edgar comes there, but he does not help her and leaves by closing the door. Jack then kills Janet and takes her inside the box, and Dialer shifts to number 5. Here Amy hears Janet scream, so she picks up a knife from the kitchen and goes to the cottage looking for her. Inside, she sees Janet's severed hand near the box, seeing which she gets very scared and runs out from there. Outside Edgar is looking for Amy for the last sacrifice and goes to her room. Now seeing the opportunity, Amy closes the door of the room and starts looking for the key to the main gate. After a lot of effort, Amy finally gets the key, but then all becomes there and attacks her with a knife. Meanwhile, the handle of the box starts spinning in the cottage and Jack comes out for his last victim. On the other hand, Amy attacks Olga as soon as she gets the opportunity, and after hearing her scream, Edgar tries to break the door. Now Amy starts running from there, but she sees that Jack is standing in front of her, so she hides inside the house. Now when Jack comes there looking for her, she attacks him with a knife and starts running away. Edgar breaks open the door on the other side and sees Olga lying on the floor in a wounded condition. Now Amy starts trying to open the lock of the main gate and we see that Jack is moving toward her, but finally, she manages to open the gate and starts moving towards the gate. But due to the injury, she was not able to walk properly and then Jack comes there and catches her. But Amy attacks her with a knife, and finally, she gets out before the gate is closed. Now Jack goes to Edgar, but Edgar does not run away and sacrifices himself for his mother. A car stops outside to help Amy, and we see Jack take Edgar inside the box after which Tyler shifts to number 6, and immediately Olga regains consciousness and the movie ends here. Thanks for watching.